Hello everyone, I'm Gen Zhang from NUTT. Today I'm going to introduce our work, MOB Fast. My presentation today is divided into five parts. CGF is one of the most successful variability detection techniques. It has found numerous variabilities in real-world programs. It is easy for deployment and fast in speed and so on. An optimization problem is the process that searches the input space to find optimal solutions and optimize the objectives. Essentially, CGF is an optimization problem. The goal of CGF is to maximize its objective, which is code coverage. However, existing CGFs use single objective optimization. In real world, variability detection scenarios, multi objective optimization is required. This code snip demonstrates real-world Linux variability. Two objectives need to be optimized to trigger it. The first objective is in line 4, which is solving more constraints by in the if statement. The second objective is in line 11, which is allocating more memory. Finally, we can trigger a real-world memory consumption bug. However, no further solve the problem of MMO in CGF. For example, FL optimized two objectives including the execution time and input size. Favorable seeds that have a smaller product of these two objectives are selected. But according to the previous analysis, it will get stuck at local optimal and cannot really support multi-objective optimization. Menlock optimizes the objective of memory consumption. It is based on FAO but it removes the original objectives of FAO when optimizing memory consumption. It, therefore, it cannot really support multi-objective optimization. So, to properly optimize multiple objectives simultaneously in CGF, we have to overcome the following challenges. Challenge 1 is that the conflict effects among different objectives require adaptive objective selection. For example, pushing the number of satisfied comparison bytes to a large value to pass branch conditions will slow down the whole fuzzing process. We have to select the best objective combination under the current fuzzing status. Challenge 2 is the power schedule is suitable for a multi-objective situation. For example, power schedule with a fast or eco fast is not suitable for multi-objective optimization. Challenge 3 is reducing performance overhead introduced by multi-objective optimization in fuzzing. To solve the challenges, we propose adaptive multi-objective optimization in CGF. This figure demonstrates the components of our proposed methods. The uncolored parts are the procedures of AFL. The colored parts are the new techniques we propose. In order to solve adaptive objective selection challenge 1 and proper schedule challenge 2, we propose multi-player multi unbanded MPMAB to reduce performance overhead. Change 3, we propose non-dominated sorting genetic algorithm in CGF NIC. Based on MAPA maybe and uh, NIC, we implement prototype MOB fuzz. One of the key components in MOB fuzz is the MPMAB model. It solves the following key problems. First, MPMAB adaptively selects the best objective combination under the current fuzzing status. Our proposed method is based on a classic MAB problem. The goal of MAB is to maximize benefits with infinite trials. The key to an MAB problem is the balance between exploration, trying reward on loan choices, and exploitation, choosing the currently best choice. MPMAB is a variant of classic MAB. Each objective combination stands for a player with his specific goal playing the slot machine. For every player, it is similar to a classic MAB problem. To balance the exploration and exploitation in MAB, we use UCB1 algorithm to score the objective combination. In the given equation, R stands for the historical reward of objective combination, which means exploitation. 
and U stands for Upper Confidence Bound, which means exploration. Lambda controls the balance between R and U. Next, MPAB deals with the power schedule suitable for the multi-objective optimization. In this part, we still need to balance between exploration, allocate more energy to reward unknown seeds, and exploitation, allocate more energy to the maximum reward seeds. Based on whether there is reward on low end seeds in the current fuzzing state, we divide the fuzzing process to two states. If there is reward on low end seeds, it is exploration state. If there is no reward on low end seeds, it is exploitation state. To calculate the energy, we define the average energy to reach a certain objective value as following. E say L is the quotient of the number of executions and the value of an objective. We consider it the minimal energy required to increase the objective value. Exploration state implies that there are currently reward on known seats and we need to try as many new seats as possible. To increase objective values and save energy, we allocate the minimal energy to seat in this state as this equation. In exploitation state, all the rewards of seats are known, and it is rational to choose the seat with the maximum reward. The more reward, the more energy for seats, and we define the energy in this state as this equation. The other key component of MOBFAS is the NIC algorithm. NIC produces the optimal values of the selected objectives with low performance overhead. NIC adopts the following key techniques. First, adaptive population size. Common genetic algorithms use fixed size population, which is not suitable for a fuzzing situation. We design adaptive population size to select population according to the size of seeds in fuzzing. Second, co-mutation operators with AFL. Previous genetic algorithms use inefficient mutation operators. We propose new mutation operators according to the design of AFL. Third, Reducing performance overhead. The separation of genetic algorithm and fuzzing causes performance overhead. We design approaches to integrate genetic algorithm into fuzzing. For example, a shared seed pool. In evaluation, we select two types of target programs, including 12 real world programs and the Magma dataset. As for baseline fathers, in real-world programs, we select AFL, Minlock, and Fast Factory. They are all single objective optimization fathers with the objective of execution speed, memory consumption, and satisfied comparison bytes. In Magma dataset, we select AFL, AFL Fast, AFL Plus Plus, Fair Fast, Home Fast. MOPT and SIMCC. In the evaluation, we are going to answer four research questions. Research question one is that does multi objective optimization in MOBFAS outperform single objective optimization in the baseline fathers? Here we show the results of objective values. As we can see from table in 33 out of the 36 comparisons, the values of MOBFAS are greater than the compared values. In 3 out of the 36 comparisons, they are all equal to the compared values. Therefore, MOBFAS outputs higher values in the three objectives. We can answer research question 1 that Multi-objective optimization in MOBFAS outperforms 
every single objective optimization simultaneously in the baseline fathers. The second research question is that how does the objective combination selection adapt in the filing process? This figure shows how the selected objective combination affects the objective values. Background colors stand for the chosen combination and lines are the objective values. In point A, three objectives are selected and all the values increase. In point B, because of the conflict effect between objectives, the increasing of comparison bias slows down speed. In point C, the MPMAB model tries to correct the slowing down of speed. Therefore, it chooses speed as the objective and to optimize in point C. In order to demonstrate MPMAB selects the best objective combination, we set six other selection strategies in the x-axis. If the y-axis is less than 1.0, MPMAB is better. According to the figure, all the y values are less than 1. Therefore, MPMBB is better than other strategies, and it can select the best objective combination. Therefore, we can answer research question 2. Our selection strategy can adaptively select the best objective combinations. The third research question is that how does our power schedule perform compared with the baseline fathers under a chosen combination? This result shows the comparison of our adaptive power schedule with non-adaptive and MLB files without MPMAB schedules. We can see that non-adaptive and MLB files minus M cannot adaptively allocate energy. MLB files can adaptively allocate energy under the selected combination. So we can answer research question three. Our power schedule can adaptively allocate energy according to the chosen objective combination. The last research question is that does NIC optimize the objective's values without introducing additional performance overhead? Here we show the results of good seeds. We define seeds that achieve greater objective values than the average in the selected objective combination as good seeds. According to the result, Percentages of good seats in MOV files are greater than those of the baseline fathers. Next result is the performance overhead of NIC. The NIC are greater than MOV files brings about 3.3% performance overhead to the filing process, which is acceptable. Therefore, we can answer the fourth research question. NIC can produce the optimal objective values with low performance overhead. The second part of our Evaluation is the magma data set. This part is divided into the results of bug count and the results of time to bug. In bug count, MOB files are to perform all the baseline filters in four out of seven projects. On average, MOB files find more bugs than the baselines. In time to bug, MOB files are to perform all the baseline filters in four out of seven projects. On average, MOB files triggers bugs with less time than the baselines. Finally, I will give today's presentation a conclusion. Our work deals with adaptive multi-objective optimization in gray box parsing. We solved the three challenges of multi-objective optimization in CGF. We proposed the MPMAP model to adaptively select the best combination and allocate energy. And we designed the NIC algorithm to output the optimal objective values with low performance overhead. Based on these two key components, we implement prototype MOB files. We conduct extensive evaluations and the results show the effectiveness of our proposed te techniques. Above is our today's presentation. Thanks for your listening.